Roshonda here back with another video. We have two guests here. <laughs> I'm Kendra. I'm the oldest. Sister. Sister. I'm Jasmine. Y'all can follow my channel. I'll have it on the screen right here. Oh, I'm the youngest. If you couldn't tell. Okay. We don't know really what's about to happen here. So <laughs> somebody just start talking because I got no other cut. A lot of this. Well, we decided to do a video today just to explain our life here in this house. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. So that, we cutting that. Trigger. We cutting that. Okay. <laughs> we, decided, um, we decided to do a video today. Just talk about some things that may be on our minds. Give some advice to our younger sister. Um. It just can't channel yours. <laughs> Don't say that. Okay, you guys. So we're just going to be just pretty much just talking about stuff currently going on in our life. Mostly dating. She don't date. We are dating. She don't need to date. But we are. You can't tell her that she don't need to date. No. She's just only be 17. Smart. Just be smart. 22 and 25. Okay, people start dating at 16, 15. So we, we're going to be talking about kind of what we disagree and agree about. Oh, what is boy. that? Okay. Debate. A lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, what's the first thing? Should you go by looks? Um, I think that it's very important. Looks are very important. I don't think you should say something. I, I disagree with her. Because I feel like you have to be attracted <laughs> to the person. Mm, okay. In some way. Okay. Some way. Okay, but looks don't make. I didn't say it make or break. I'm just saying. Pretty much. You said it's important. No, I said it's important. You should feel attracted. Why are you looking at a person like he ugly, but we together? It's a few. It, it, okay, like, just put it like this. Looks have. Uh, important to a certain extent. Yes, it is. Yeah. But I me personally, it. my opinion, I try not to look at it like that. Can't I try worry about looks. I don't worry about looks. Like I look at the person on how they talk to me. Sometimes, how they treat me, how big the heart they have. That's what you should take okay, into yes. consideration. Me, uh, I think. I, I really don't know. Uh, I don't really know about this question because I just don't know. Have you ever dated somebody ugly? Not ugly, but they weren't the greatest looking. But they were. You thought they. You thought yeah. they were cute, right? I didn't think they were cute. I just. But they were attractive enough for you. I guess. Okay. Question number two. How long after you've been talking to someone should you consider dating? A month. I don't necessarily think a uh, time frame. I just think. Oh, she no, is a I, hypocrite. No, let me finish. You've been telling me about. Oh, don't. Let me finish. Oh, like, okay. I'm not finish. talking about no time frame. I'm talking about at least five or six dates. 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 How long after you've been talking should you consider dating that dating. person? What do you mean talking? See? Like, like talking. Like, have y'all been on dates and stuff? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, five I'm or six saying, dates. Like, talking, She's like, saying five or six dates. Like, it don't take. Okay, so how long did you and old boy? Who? 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 <laughs> who, old oh boy, who? How long? Were y'all dating? Weren't y'all dating? Who? Was he? I don't have many, y'all. Y'all know that from my channel. But I really don't know the who. The one you, you know, never dated. 
I know that blushes pretend. That's man. just that usually what happens. Well, yeah, that's I think five happens. or six dates because you should have been for that already been talking. But I didn't agree with the that. But I five think a times. month. A month. Okay. Um, a month of what? Dates and stuff? Okay, so why did last night y'all jump on the case? No, we, we talking about dates. Like a month of talking dates? and then maybe another month of dates. But I'm talking, so how, you said two, two months. months. That's basically what maybe, you Maybe, yeah, two months. Two months and then consider being in a relationship. Yes. I don't think there's no time right. I'm talking about five or six dates and y'all should... Y'all should have been talking before that. I don't necessarily think the time. I'm just saying. Yeah, but you five really is saying the time because five or six dates could be three or four months. It could be. That's a long time. It you could, could be. Okay, but like I feel like saying, you should know no a person. Time. You should know. Yes. Like to me, like I feel like. Yeah, I don't think it you takes a five or six dates. I really don't think it takes that. You Each should know is different. from the second date, you should be like, okay, maybe he's a keeper or she's a keeper or not. I know you're saying that. You can think that in your head, but I'm talking about keep on going on the dates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you can date and still keep going on dates. You putting a, you're talking about putting a name on the situation. I'm talking about five or six years. I'm talking about five or six dates. Y'all should know. Are we dating? That's the point. That means they should know before the fifth date. No, not necessarily. I'm just saying, but you, you should you have it in you your head. You still putting a timer on the date. You still put like, you should be knowing what's going on. That's what I'm but saying. But some people can know early. Like, I, I know people who say they met their soulmate. You should some know people, the person. Some well people, well and like Les was about to say, some people have sat there and told me that I knew she they, was they, married they, years. they have been married for years. Mm-hmm. And they, like, they met and they clicked. Some people are like that, but they like jazz say Lexus. It's, it's different for some people. Some it's people, different. So some people different require. Yeah, but I think an average five or six days is good enough to know. You should be knowing a person by then. Okay, so that answers the question. How long should you talk to someone before considering? We all got different answers. Comment down below what y'all think. Because <laughs> I, I'm just really like. <laughs> Bobble here by this. <laughs> I, 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 you burping this shit. Come on. Okay, next question. Question number three. What do you consider dating? I consider dating being taken out on a date, talking on the phone to that one person, texting, um, I don't know. Uplifting each other for a better future. Encouraging each other day by day to do better. Want to do better. Just all of the above. What a man and a woman are supposed to do if they are liking and feeling what they feel is right for each other. Okay. I just think dating is talking, communication, consistent, one person. When you date, you date one person. That's a good word, consistent. Consistent, please. Because I'm tired of some inconsistent stuff. I'm, I'm, dead, I'm very inconsistent. Oh, we got to tell these stories about these inconsistent guys. Like, I don't know. I can't do it. No, we, okay. we, let me do my answer. Um, I think is just being with that one person. That is basically one, dating one. one. I don't know about phone and stuff because I don't like texting or calling out like that. I don't know how she's going to be dating because it, you need to communicate on the phone as well. Okay, okay. See them face to face, but... but saying, why do you need to be on the phone daily? You you dating, hopefully you're... Ch- you say you want to be married by what, 25? You why? better talk every day. I know, but why do you need to be on the phone daily? I can't understand texting, but why am I talking to me on the phone for every single day? Baby, you're going to have to talk to them in face-to-face when you get married and date. I know that, but I'm talking about when you date, there should be no reason How why was I'm work calling today? you every night. What happened? I can text you that. Why am I calling you every day? Just people want to hear your voice. She get like Not every day. She I can like me. Once she or two, like twice me. a week. She get like me. I, I, don't, I don't have... I don't have the verge to want to be on the phone with you every day. I don't have the verge to want to be up under you every day. I don't either. And I don't have, I don't do that every day, clearly. I, but my but some, work. some dudes, shit. which is going to come up on our next question, some dudes take that 
and they feel like if you can't talk to me every day, you can't see me every day, then what do we have? I just I feel know, like that's city. sometimes that's too much. Definitely. That's too much. Now trust me, I, the guy I talk to, I text every day. He got texting every day. That's different. But yeah, but I think that for our age, texting and stuff. But as you get older, if okay, think about these thirty year old women out here who's watching the channel. They not in for no text, and they want to talk. They want to see you and Facetime. No, but I think not texting that every day gets you really prepared for marriage because you're not gonna be. Be able to talk to your significant other on the phone. We understand, every, but when you first date, you need to know, try to get to know everything about the person. I know, but I plan, I plan on living a busy life, so you just can't. I can't do that. I we just had to pray for you. And okay. I'm gonna be getting my coins, so I'm gonna be at work doing twelve hour shifts. And I'm not wearing twelve. Okay, hours, let's get back to but I ain't gonna be able to stop giving my patients medicine and be on the phone with you. Hey, babe, what you doing? Nobody's well, hopefully, you all my man won't have time to be on the phone anyway because you're supposed to be making that money. money. So that See? way, I think, next question. <laughs> this is just based upon my experience. <laughs> no, Jazz yeah, just lady, asked the question. Oh. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, girl. Um, what do you consider a guy? Like, okay, when do you consider a guy to be doing too much or slash crazy? I can't <laughs> really answer that because, like... Because <laughs> what? I, I have never... Well, I'm talking about what would you consider? What, a yeah, point what where you're just what like, okay, this man is crazy, I gotta get away. He too much, he doing too much. I mean, if he just, like, is texting and calling and like what is you doing what is you doing okay <laughs> so, so where are you at where are you oh, at? Okay. If, a guy, if a guy calls you and you only been talking for like a week or two yes that's a, scary if a guy calls you okay let's say this is a scenario if a guy y'all been talking so far at this point y'all only been talking not, for two weeks a scenario. this they don't know that it's <laughs> a scenario y'all been talking for two weeks one morning you wake up so you watching. have 25 missed calls. I'm sorry, y'all. Yep. What do you... 25 missed calls from this person. You've been asleep all night. And you wake up to 25 missed calls. And 11 text messages of them blowing up your phone. Let's see. That is crazy. Uh, of course, I would probably leave them alone. That, that's considered crazy, but... We got to get to my question because my question is going to be, you're going to be right on yours. Okay, for one, if he's not in the hospital or something after that, then he's blocked. It was, okay, because if 25 missed calls because you've been in a car accident and you're severe traumatized, then 25 missed calls is okay. Okay, so for you two followers, this is are based on a true story. I had a guy call my phone at 6-something in the morning 25 times. And his reason of calling me was for me to speak to his manager because his check was short. You call me 25 times for something that you have to handle. That's just... And you wanted me to talk to your manager. So, yeah. That's just... I don't... I can't. I can't. I don't know. That's the type of sh I be talking about. That That's what I made think, me... Hey, this is my child. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the type of stuff I be talking about because that right there made me just cut you off. But then when I cut you off, you say you're going to kill me and my family. Okay, so basically craziness is threats and clinginess. Clinginess. And I like being clean, but let me know who... Lexus. That is a total <laughs> difference. <laughs> I'm trying to what you're saying. I'm like, let me know you. Like, that's why I need to get my question because. Answer. I mean, ask it, man. Do question you guys four. agree that you should be or get into any sexual encounters before marriage? No. We already know the answer. I do not agree. I, I, I feel it, Because this is where it comes.
comes into play. Like, if you were the ones who have already been out there, there, you're already sexually active, you know how it is. When you want it, you want it. You got it. You, that's no question asked. But wait until marriage, I feel like you would have to go through that whole stage of being celibate. And that is a very, very smart move. I would never knock anybody for that because I did go a year of being celibate. But when you find the right one and, you know, when you know he got that good pipe, you know. Don't say I don't put that. I don't. <laughs> pipe and stuff. Please, can stop. No. Well, I was about to say something. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what I think is if you're trying to be um Sullivan, then if I was somebody else, you're trying to also be Sullivan. Sullivan. Or yes, Sullivan. Sullivan. No, no absent. 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 There you go, uh, absent. That's what they teach y'all in section. Eight. Then find somebody else who, because it's going to be so much easier. Right? Yes, it would be easier. Yeah. But you that can't way just it's... go finding somebody who... If somebody is already out there, if they're if they're not willing to wait, you have to move on. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, ladies, fellas, if you want to wait till marriage, and you know if you've already been out there and you want to wait till marriage, that that don't. that is. <laughs> So ladies, if you are wanting, <laughs> no, there you is do, some fellas. You do have out some there. good fellas out there, but as I was saying, wait. If you're going to do it celebrate, find somebody that wants to do it with you. Don't go in it alone. And if you have to go in it alone, make sure when or you... Or don't give up. Don't give up. You know, and make sure when that time comes, that person is the right person. And for you that are not sexually active, please wait. Please. You don't want nobody to come knocking on your door. You don't want no... You know, you got that good, good. You don't want them acting crazy. Let's go. Next question here. What do y'all think it's the most question. important thing for a relationship is? Trust. God, number one. I was because sure. if they don't believe in God, oh my God, if they don't want to go by the Bible, let me tell y'all. We'll get to that story. But my first did not, but he's talking about a white man wrote the Bible. Oh my well, God. I to tell you that. And then he was like, okay. I was like, no, because no, you was in denial. If you don't, and then he didn't want me to go about the Bible. I was like, I, I, I really was like, we didn't talk for a week no, and a half. Was like it's gonna be hard. You can't just drop somebody like that. I was like, and after thing after God. Okay, what you know? Okay, it should be God, communication. So communication, trust, trust. and and most important, love. What what do you think? Um, definitely God. Yeah. Communication. Definitely. Um. I meant trust. So I mean, but I'm just saying. Oh, I'm sorry. You should already be. I thought I had. <laughs> you should already be trusting each other. Man. Ew. Ah! From the start. No, you gotta build trust. I don't yeah. think you should trust. No, 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 no. I think, I think, you, I think you get everybody in this world should be able. You should give them the benefit of the doubt of yeah, trust. Yeah, don't go in a relationship not trust, but I don't think you should like. And if they f up, then that's when the trust. Yeah, stop cussing. That's not cussing. That's just I'm providing still. a letter. That that's when you that's when the y'all gonna have to if y'all wanna work on things. That's when your trust has to start being built. But you should yes, automatically, you should automatically be, be able, able to trust. To trust. Yeah, true. And you should have trust for them. Because if you didn't trust them, I don't think you would be talking to them personally. Yeah, that's another thing. So, that's another thing. Okay. I can trust somebody. You, you have to trust that person with your life. You have to trust them with everything. And I don't know what this word is, but let me think what I'm trying to say. You should just be your own person. That's what I'm trying Duh. to say. I mean? know, but I'm talking about after God, trust. I mean, after God, communication, trust, and 
individually. I don't know how to say it. Individually intact. What are you saying? Like yeah, y'all both should be like good in life. I don't. Agree. No, I'm just saying you guys should be individually independent. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that'll be my next question. That mm-hmm. goes to our next question. What? Like, so what's the problem? Yeah, like, do I you do know. you guys? Okay, question. I don't think you should be having to rely on that for person for your. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Woo, question thing, question number six. Yes. Do right. okay when you're in a relationship. This could be boyfriend, girlfriend, or married. And you guys have built, you know, you guys have a home together. I'm just saying general. Have a home. You guys are living together, paying bills, doing what grown folks married? do. Do you guys feel, how do you guys look at the bills? How do you guys look at the support, the providing of the man? It depends. Like you said, the man. It depends on the man. Whoever makes the most money is who should be paying the most bills. And it also depends on how your man. Some men, we talked about this before. Some do men not, make more money than men. I know, so. but some men, they okay with not having a woman, wife or whatever work, but their woman work. Yes, I know. So it de- still about depends it. on the man. And that's not how so the y'all So do y'all feel like, do y'all feel like, when women are making the most money, do y'all feel like mm. whoever makes the most money should be paying the I most think, bills? No, no, no. I disagree. I think it should be half and half. And whoever making the most, use that money to put into something together and save, save, and save. Ain't no need for the one who making the most, but that's not right. The woman should not. It's supposed to be the man providing. So half and I half. I know that, but like, what if I'm a CEO and he's a manager at... I don't know. He, he Milo. Got, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I, I ain't going for that. But I'm just saying. Wait a minute. Don't, don't say no, don't don't say that. that because that's no, I'm not saying good. that's not my intention. But I'm just saying, like, but you gotta of course, if I'm the CEO of my own company and he's a manager at Vilo, I'm going to be making probably 10 times more money than he is. Yeah, but don't he say he ain't going for that. He can't pay the car bill and $1,000 more. How do you know what? He can't, he can't if pay. If I make 10 times more than him, well, that's why I, you, I, I, you should. You, not be having you to pay the should. Most that's what some of these ladies have problems. Well, if you feel like yes, there's going to be a problem, date in your range. Date in the people who are. I didn't say there wasn't going to be a problem. I'm just, I'm just saying, if that's the case, then you should not have to ma- let him get the most expensive bill. I mean, make it fair. You make ten yeah, times more money. But the man is supposed to provide, so it's kind of like I know, Lex, but. If I have worked hard and I'm the CEO and I built my own company, but you're gonna be end up taking care of him. That is not taking care of Lex. It's, I'm gonna pay the bills that I can afford. If I make ten times more money than somebody else, okay. I shouldn't be putting them. My opinion on that is, if for instance, if we're if us as women, we're we're making the most. Our man, he is a little over minimum wage, which is basically what it's gonna be. I feel like it should be two options. Either you let the woman pay the highest bill and give them the smallest. Or you divide it in half. Yeah, yeah. Because men don't need no money really. really what active. you mean? They I'm talking about money. they don't. Like, men don't need, like, leftover money. Ain't nothing really they can do. Get a haircut, do this and that. Women, we can use other. We got okay, some so nails. So, so do y'all things. feel like, okay, let's. Okay, for instance. If your man, if your man has lost his job and he's looking for work, okay, you the only one working right now. But you do see that he is out there making an attempt. How would you do? How would you feel about that? He is out there making an attempt. That's it. He is making an attempt. If I actually see you actually making an attempt, yeah. Okay, so. But I would not. Now I don't know how I would feel. I don't. I don't know. Cause it should. I don't. Things happen, but it's like I don't know. You shouldn't. No man really should be coming in a relationship until he is kind of a little bit situated. No one should be getting a relationship unless they're stable. Mm-hmm. Okay, I agree to disagree. I disagree because that's cutting the camera off. I I agree to disagree. Because I feel like, I feel, no, I feel like, okay, 
if you're willing to be with somebody and stick with them no matter what, that's that's basically what your vows are. Like, you know, y'all get married and say something like this happen, you know? A big company of your husband, they lay everybody off. Like, you know, y'all together, that's basically saying the same thing. Well, I think that, like the saber part, if you are dating somebody and they just come into your life at a moment in time where you are not stable and you really have feelings, y'all grown feelings, and you you're not you're not stable or the other person's not stable, but you guys are willing to, to do it together, do it together, then that's okay. Both are on the same page. My mom say you can't go by that. You can't you can't. You know, sometimes that's what it takes. It takes another person to come in and help, you know, build. Both of y'all to build up. Yeah, build, but then you got those who will bring you down. So, if it's somebody that's... But that's when it comes into play. Like, you got to know. That's when that trust comes into play. You got to know. That they're there for you yeah. and not for anything else. Yeah. So, I personally feel like the whole situation, like... The, the bills situation, the money, the finance. It would depend. Okay, well, it would depend as you get farther into the relationship. I think the man should be taking care of the bills. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying that I think the man should be taking care of the mm-hmm. bills. Like, if the lights go out, it shouldn't go out. There should be no lights going that's out. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The man there should, should be. not yeah. be no. I mean, wouldn't you rather have that somebody is not saying, like, somebody just how much you spend that whole check and pay the bill, but just put up a scenario. The man, he pay all the bills in the whole house, and then the woman, she buy the groceries with the money she made, and save up but I already, stuff, and do, I like, already, side. I, I don't already know, but I know I'm probably going to be the one making the most money. Why? Where and I mean, because of my field that I'm in. Yeah, but you, people can get up to your field, or they can be in your field. Like, do you feel like that? Did you feel like that in general? Yeah, I always feel like that. I always feel like I'm because I'm the type of person who stay at work. That's why I feel like. Yeah, but what you mean stay at work? Maybe I'm gonna be. Work. I know that. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and us talking about day 10, one on one. I don't even know. Relationship advice, just different stuff. Comment down below. Yes, yeah, you want us to do another one. And what Comment what down topic. how you want me to even add these two back into my videos. It's gonna be a little session. They probably don't want to see me no more. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below any video suggestions. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, something is happening. I got chin hair. Follow our Instagram. Mm, 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 mm. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.